when you're talking about global war prevention, why it is so necessary to bring in the nuclear peace. Uh, nuclear weapons are part of a chain of global violence that run all the way from the handgun work that we're doing all the way up to 20 megaton weapons that currently exist in the arsenals of the United States and Russia. Um, this chain goes, you know, everything from handgun violence on the streets of Chicago to the advocacy that we're working on now, which is trying to make people aware of the catastrophic environmental and specifically the humanitarian consequences of possible nuclear weapon use. Um, it's so important to bring this to people's attention because especially for younger generations, uh, you see that the Cold War coll has collapsed. That sort of dynamic of great power nuclear rivalry has made it much less likely that we're going to run into that sort of nuclear winter scenario that we were talking about in the 1980s and 1990s, where the whole world is blanketed in this you know, choking cloud of ash and soot kicked up by a full-scale nuclear exchange between the United States and Russia. But what we're trying to warn people about today is that even a limited nuclear exchange, um, say on the order of what India and Pakistan are capable of, um, and that includes some of the other nuclear weapon states as well, but just based on political factors, geogra uh, geographical proximity, that's where we're really focusing our attentions right now. And even the sort of limited exchange that wouldn't create those nuclear winter-like conditions would still affect the environment and affect people's health in such a way that you're looking at possibly a billion people starving as a result of even a much smaller, more limited nuclear exchange. And so that's why we're continuing to bring this health message forward from doctors, medical students, concerned citizens around the world focusing on nuclear weapons. Uh, we're a nonpartisan federation of national affiliate groups. We represent folks in 62 countries around the world. Uh, doctors, medical students, health professionals, and concerned citizens who are interested in bringing a message, uh, specifically a health message of anti-nuclear advocacy to the world. We were founded in 1980, won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1985. Uh, we've been involved in anti-nuclear work ever since. Um, we were involved in the landmine campaign in the late 90s and are currently pushing both a campaign for an international convention to abolish nuclear weapons uh, and also doing a lot of work especially in our Central and South American offices uh, and our Sub-Saharan African groups on handgun violence prevention.